Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Chizia bring you some more Holiday Cup battles. Today we have battles submitted by a member of the community by the name of Mr. Killer. He was ranked number one in the South tournaments for the Mozambique region. He's running a team of Altaria, Alolan Marowak, which is Shadow, as well as Lantern. He's Altaria having Dragon Breath, Sky Attack, and Moonblast. He's uh, Lantern having Spark, Surf, Thunderbolt. And lastly, he's Shadow. Marowak having higher spin and two nuke moves by with Shadow Ball as well as Fire Blast. Let's jump into this battle and see how well he's done. In the first battle, we have Altaria against Victory Bell. This is a positive lead for Altaria. Opponent not swapping out. Not sure if he's maybe perhaps double weak to Altaria. He's got something else that's weak to Altaria in the back. Mr. Killer going straight for the Sky Attack. Opponent doesn't shield. He comes in with his Alola Night Tails. He's gonna now switch out into his lantern opponent going for a charge move which is just a surf Mr. Killer gonna throw the shadow ball let's see if we're gonna get a shield here from the opponent and the opponent does shield I was curious to see how much damage that does let's see if we can get to another charge move we actually managed to get to a charge move with 1 HP gonna throw the shadow ball and get another shield from the opponent gonna come back with the Altara the opponent now going for a charge move that's what the opponent's gonna throw. He's gonna throw the Thunderbolt. Uh, he's gonna continue to Dragon Breath. Opponent switches out into his Alola Ninetales. And it's not a charm Alola Ninetales, it's a Powder Snow. He switches out quickly into his Lantern. That's not looking so good for the opponent as he's two shields down. Master Killer is going straight for the Thunderbolt. Should bring it quite low. It's actually in the red. He's gonna build up more. He's gonna CMP tie with the Alola Ninetales. He's gonna now shield. The opponent baits with a Weather Ball, but doesn't really matter. I don't think anything the opponent can do. That's gonna now change the matchup, but he's still got the Altare in the back. Beautifully undercharges that. Opponent gonna throw another charge move, knowing that it's too quick to be a dazzling dream. No shields that one. Opponent comes back with now with the lantern. Gonna shield this move. It's now gonna be a race to the finish. Let's see if he can get to the Thunderbolt before the opponent. Oh, and a beautiful catch from Mr. Killer there into his Altaria. This he actually throws the surf. He's gonna go now for the sky attack. I don't think this should take out Lantern, but the Dragon Breath should. Uh, bring it quite low and they simultaneously KO and Mr. Killer wins as he has another Pokemon in the back. Next matchup we have Altaria again off Sagoon, it's a very good lead. Opponent now switches into, I cannot see because uh, the wings of the Altaria is covering the Pokemon and it is a Shadow Luxray. That, that's uh, quite interesting to see. Opponent is going to go for a Psychic Fang, he shields it. Going to throw another charge move, let's see what this will be. And it's going to be another Psychic Fang which doesn't do much damage. Altaria then managing to Dragon Breath down. Opponent comes in with his own Altaria. I'm not sure why he Mr. Killer didn't throw the charge move there. Dragon Breath take him out before he could click Sky Attack. Opponent going to now throw a charge move on the Altaria side. He goes straight for the Moon Blast, no debuff. Mr. Killer now going to throw then the Thunderbolt. Let's see if the opponent does shield it. Opponent no shield that switches out into his Alolan Marowak. Dealing not very super effective with the Fire Spins. Opponent going to try a charge move, it's going to be the sky attack. That is able to farm down and he manages to farm down. He's going to come back in with the Obstagoon, going straight for the fire blast. Let's see if the opponent does respect it. And the opponent doesn't respect it with two shields and he picks up that win. Jumping into the next battle, Altaria against Obstagoon. Another positive lead. Opponent switches out now into a charm, Alola Ninetales. He then meets him with the Alola Marowak. Uh, let's see if he does shield this one here. It's going to be the side shock, no shield from Mr. Killer. Looking to farm down by the looks of it, and he manages to get the farm down. Gonna go now straight for the fire blast again. Let's see if this opponent respects it. And the opponent does shield, as we've seen in the previous battle, almost one shot at an Obstagoon. He's gonna wait for the switch timer now to go up and down. He then comes in with his Altaria. Gonna no shield the first one in case the opponent does then get a debuff, or actually get a buff in other words. He meets him then with a frost last. He's got a good answer for the first last. He comes in with his lantern. Opponent gonna throw the charge move. It's gonna be the shadow ball. Deals half the health of the lantern. Gonna continue farming. Now throws the surf. Let's see if the opponent does shield us. The opponent does shield it. Mr. Killer now gonna continue to farm. CMP ties with the opponent. Opponent now throws an avalanche bait. He then goes straight for the thunder balls. Let's see if the opponent does respect it and shield it. The opponent doesn't bring him the frost light into farm down range. And he's Swaps out into his Obstagoon, saving a move there by the opponent. Throws a Thunderbolt, no shield there, switches out into his Altaria. Gonna continue to Dragon Breath, let's see if the opponent's gonna throw a Night Slash here. No shield there from Mr. Killer. Opponent continues to counter, and he manages to farm down. 
and then the opponent surrenders knowing that even if he throws a charge move, Lantern will take him out. Next battle, we have Altaria against Vigorot. Very positive lead, same story, switches on to Lola Ninetales, he meets him with a Lola Marowak. This is a solid answer for Lola Ninetales. Gonna throw a charge move, and this time the opponent baits with a weather ball. That's the killer no shield that has did in the previous battle, and manages to farm down. Let's see what the opponent now comes back in with. Is he going to come back with the Vigorot? And the opponent does come back with the Vigorot, going straight for the Fire Blast. Let's see if this is going to grab a shield or not. And the opponent no shield, and it almost takes him out, and he manages to farm down. And he's got a Frostmask in the back. This should be GG's. Mr. Killer comes out with his Lantern. He's going to continue to build. The opponent now throws a charge move. Let's see if Mr. Killer does shield. He doesn't. It is going to be the Shadow Ball. Deals half the health of the Lantern. Now goes for a Surf. Let's see if the opponent does shield. Opponent shields on his side. Gonna throw another stuff immediately. Let's see if the opponent does shield the second one. He doesn't. He switches out now. He's into Altaria. I think this should be GG's. Nothing the opponent can do. Even no shields. The yeah, Altaria wanting to finish the battle off with the Lantern. Opponent now throws another charge move. It's an Avalanche and that uh, spark it went through. Should take out the first loss and GG's very well played. Next matchup we have Altaria against Jump Up. That's a positive lead for Altaria as he can go for this uh, sky attacks which are super effective. Opponent goes for a charge move which is the acrobatics. Opponent then switches out into a dance pass which he then comes in with a lowland Marowak. I think this is a quite uh, tough matchup because dance pass can be super effective with the uh, rock slide as well as a drill run. He knows he was the first one going straight for the fire blood. Let's see the opponent, the opponent doesn't respect it and that should take out the dance pass. And now he still got alignment which is a good thing for uh, Mr. Killer, he comes in now with Lantern against the Vigorot. Gonna continue to farm opponent during a charge move. Let's see if he goes straight for the Bulldoze. He doesn't. He baits him with Body Slam. Opponent now switches back into Jump Luff. He's going straight for the Sky Attack. That should bring the, the Jump Luff quite low if he no shields. And he actually does shield. Opponent gonna throw now a charge move, but not before Altara can get to a move before him. So now the Sky Attack, he double shields. Gonna continue to farm. Opponent now throwing a charge move. Let's see. What he does, he throws the energy ball bait, what a call from Mr. Killer, also getting a message notification there. Um, uh, opponent manages to farm down, comes in with the lantern, got a move already, stores, throws immediately, that does take out the jump off. Uh, this should be GG, I don't think the opponent can do anything, he's got two shields, you can see the opponent even stop stepping, probably close the app as well. Mr. Killer now going for the thunderbolt and this should be good games, very well played. Team seems to be very decent. Altara picking up a lot of positive leads. Just want to say thank you so much, Mr. Killer, for submitting this battle. Really do enjoy Shadow Wall Lola Marowak with the, the nuke moves. At least we got to see some of them landing. And wow, it, it, it is amazing to see them land. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, please remember to like and subscribe. And we'll definitely see you in the next one.